National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hi there, I'm naturopathic doctor Jonathan Beatty, a health expert here at nationalnutrition.ca. Working with a lot of autoimmunity in my practice, I do see a fair number of multiple sclerosis cases. Multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune condition that essentially attacks certain matter in the nervous system and causes a lot of neurological deficits. Uh, it's a type of autoimmune condition. Uh, essentially what happens in that is the immune system is mistaking yourself for something foreign. It's going in and attacking a certain part of the nervous system and this, this leads to the variety of symptoms you see with MS. It'll often onset with a lot of fatigue and often you'll start to see things like uh, muscle weakness. Now there's different types of MS in the way it presents. Um, the disease itself is always similar. It's diagnosed through MRI and you can find what they call white matter lesions uh, on the brain and that's a good indicator that MS is present. And then it's, it's that combination of positive MRI results with a number of symptoms. Now the symptoms can either be persistent, which is a typically a more aggressive form of MS, or what we call remitting MS, which will come on almost episodic. And so you would have sort of a period of MS symptoms followed by a little bit of a, 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 a latency period where the symptoms go away for a while. And the latency periods can be weeks, months, years, uh, or they can be very short time. So again, this is that, that's that remitting MS versus the persistent, which is once the symptoms start, they never let up and they just progress and progress and progress. And it tends to be a more severe, more aggressive form of the disease. So typical symptoms, as I mentioned, fatigue is a big one. And another one is weakness. So oftentimes, you know, just hands giving out and dropping a plate on the ground. That kind of stuff can be early symptoms of MS and it's best to get in get tested by your doctor because the earlier you diagnose the disease, the more aggressively and sooner you start treatment, um, the better chance you have of reducing the severity of the symptoms. Now, there is a lot of new work being done in this area and there's some very positive work being done in this area looking at diet and that's being spearheaded by a woman in the United States, Dr. Terry Walls. So if you do have MS, I highly recommend looking into her research as they're looking at dietary implications for MS management with absolutely astounding success. And I've used some of these protocols in my office and seen great changes in patients. So I really do promote looking into that. Now what her work is all about is focusing on improving mitochondrial function for the most part. Basically, how do the neurons produce energy? What is creating the disease state to happen? and reversing those things. So some nutrients you might wanna consider if you do have MS, because they often can be deficient in people with MS, and they're often needed in high levels to allow the body to heal and to help regulate the immune system. Things like your omega-3s. Your omega-3s are the main fat that make up the nervous system. In fact, about 22% of your brain is DHA, a single type of fatty acid. That's very important. Cholesterol is actually quite important. About 25% of your brain is made up of cholesterol, so that can be very important uh, in the management of MS. Um, so this is where, in some cases, of course, it causes controversy as a vegetarian diet is cholesterol-free. Um, and so there's some suggestion that um, that could actually make uh, MS symptoms worse. Other supplements you might want to consider if you have MS uh, would be things to help support mitochondrial function. So you'd be looking at our positive lipoic acid, coenzyme Q10 and carnitine. All of these can help your cells to manufacture energy more effectively. And that's one of the things that ends up being depleted in multiple sclerosis. So if you suffer from multiple sclerosis, I hope some of the tips I've taught you today will help you in your journey with this condition. Uh, please share this video with anybody you think uh, may get some benefit from it. Subscribe to our channel. As always, remember, post any questions or comments you have below. And last but not least, remember, knowledge is health. Thank you.